there's water. How crazy is this? And the times that we walk going through and through. In that moment, I felt that I could go anywhere. today. Just having my coffee now. I'm kind of keeping a lookout for our buddy boat sailing vessel keel in it. Um, they're coming with us and I'm so excited because the raggeds are pretty off beaten path. We've never been to the raggeds but we've heard such great things about the water and the sea life. We're very pumped. We wanted to have a video done. It didn't happen but it is early March already so we're just gonna throw caution to the wind and enjoy a couple days. We probably won't have Wi-Fi, so we won't be able to upload a video. But adventure calls, and we have to go. There are so many things I could not have known this morning when we set out on our journey. The big one being that our few day trip would turn out to be much, much longer. I also would, in fact, be able to upload videos and our one buddy boat would turn into several. All in all, a situation beyond my imagination, at least at that time on this particular morning. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. What's happening today is that we're making the 50 mile passage from Long Island to Water Key, technically north of the Ragged Island Group. We'll then keep hopping down as weather allows with the ultimate goal of making it all the way down to the bottom of the Ragged Island chain which, at 75 nautical miles long, is considered, per our cruising guidebook, to be a much sought after notch on the bow for extreme sailing adventurers, and advises that we should be fully provisioned and fresh water independent in order to cruise here. So we're doing 5.5 five in a 5.4 nautical wind, uh, dead downwind, negative 179, so the wind is directly behind. Um, yeah, it's carrying pretty well, so. Love the sail. It's so fast. Mm -hmm. of just going like five knots and it's really light wind. Phil would be happier if we were going faster but I'm very much enjoying this. Yeah. Well, we're going almost five. I, mean, <laughs> I would like to turn the corner and get the apparent wind up. Yeah but that's not happening for three hours. Three hours. This is amazing. Right. I'll take a mojito please. I was thinking like be a cold beer something kind of day on the water like this you know exactly this is amazing and it's like nine in the morning yeah i guess it's, it's gonna be kind of early to have a beer with it feels like it's like midday to me i know i just checked the clock i was like we've, we've already had a very long had a long day we crashed our drone yeah. oh. but luckily the footage transferred to the camera on the phone so we always got that seven minute footage we're gonna do some research and try and figure out exactly what happened. It's a Maverick Mini. It's a new drone that just came out that's like affordable-ish, which is why we got it. Lost transmission, which just seems like it kind of freaked out. And we were barely even that far from. And we're passing our friends here. Yes, Keelan, it's over here. <laughs> yup, there they are. Here's our boat friends. Things that 
giant shadow in the water is from our Code Zero sale. So that is what's making that. Um, and then just the water is so clear. You can see, I mean, you can see fish, you can see anything that's in the water, coral. It's literally like sailing in a swimming pool, like a chlorine swimming pool. It's so relaxing and gentle. It's anxiety free right now. It's peaceful. The sounds are amazing. Are you relaxed, dear? Uh, I was relaxed until the shallow water alarm has gone off. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, we can see if we get too close. I yeah, mean, I know. We've quite a lot of sail area up right now. It's unreal. So we, we were needed a little extra oomph, so we added uh, our jib pulled out as well as the code zero, and we're moving about wind speed now. We could have gotten our asymmetric up, but I'm feeling kind of lazy because we're going to be turning upwind anyway. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at our little swimming pool. I know, I want to go in too. right now but dark spots in the water. That's the bottom. Uh, they're coral heads and rocks. And that's 35 feet below us. And you can see these shapes perfectly and I'm not even in the sunlight. That's just how clear this water is. It's friggin' crazy. Yeah. And that's waves too, it's not even like a Exactly. Like if we're in a lot of swell, we can still see through the waves. Down. It should not be this clear right now. Like uh, it's pretty. Nice. You can see all the waves and the, the white caps and the lack of direct sun. And this is literally 35 feet deep, and you can see everything down there. Super clear water is remarkable to us because we've already been in the Bahamas for months now and are used to crystal clear water clarity. That's why we're so impressed.
hear the birds chirping. I can't believe it's been 50 episodes. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we really had no idea that we would make 50 episodes on YouTube. The idea when we uh, started the YouTube channel was really just to document our transatlantic, but it kind of just kept morphing and growing and uh, continued to be fun. Whether you guys have been following along since the very beginning or whether you've just found us now, um, why don't you consider joining Patreon? Um, Bill, do you want to tell everybody a little bit more about Patreon? Yeah, so Patreon is a little $2 a month. And uh, we've been doing some pretty cool things like happy hour on a monthly basis where we get to connect with the viewers in real time. Um, it was particularly cool when we were down in the Ragged Islands during the pandemic to tell stories and yeah. connect with our patrons. And that's just one of the perks that you receive when you join Patreon. And not only do you get benefits, but you also support us, um, support our adventure. And our so production. Yeah, and our production. So check it out. Um, and if Patreon's not the right thing for you, hit subscribe if you enjoy the journey because that actually really helps us grow. Turns out filming is expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're already on our second drone. Yeah, but we're still- Two GoPros. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it we the, the saltwater environment's uh, tough on the envi in the gear. So uh, any support is much appreciated. That's all we've got for now. And just want to say thanks. Thanks for following along. Um, we love you guys. Yeah. Hope to have a sundown review somewhere across yes. weeks. That is a frigate bird. And we are departing for an anchorage uh, about 12 miles south. So we anchored last night in Water Key here in this beautiful place. But um, for the absolute best diving, we're going to go a little bit further south. It's about 10 o'clock, so hopefully we'll be in the water swimming by one. Healing It is out there. They already left. We're just finishing making water and it's just so fun to stand out here and look at the water because you can see we've seen sharks and um, it's a lot out here. Look at this water. How crazy is this? Goodbye, water key. You were beautiful. We've just anchored and Kayla and it's just swinging on by. Bill's making some dogs. Oh yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful anchorage here. Paradise. We finished lunch and we are preparing for a dive now. Can't wait to get in the water. There's a coral reef right over here. I'd also like to go into the anchorage called the Bite. It's on the north end. They said it was a pass. Okay. And that's what's last the coral too. In the dinghy? Mm-hmm. It's like right. It's like in a protected little basin, like just north of here. So that's those are markers for the trail that goes to the bite, which must be pretty. Okay. But we can take the dinghy around this point. Yeah. Sounds Water great. Water's though. Water's ridiculous. Can't wait to get in.
the largest turtle is so cool. Here comes Calicus guys. <laughs> they just have one sail out and whooping our asses. Oh, cool. Do we ever have walking the boo? Probably. <laughs>